Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're playing yeah. some Kuzumbo. Time to show the world. Yeah. And we're up against a Scotty. I was actually thinking about banning Scotty, but then I thought about it. And I was like, well, she doesn't have an escape. And late game, I think Kuzumbo's got no problem against her. It's kind of the early and mid game that I'm kind of worried about. Again, because once I get Bumpus Hammer, everything's you know, fine. Never do anything for free. You're going to owe me big time after this, you hear, pal? Okay, so we are going to go Bumpus Hammer. Now. Everybody kind of memes on me that I only go Bancroft start. So we're going to do a different start, okay? <laughs> we're going to do a Book of Thoth start on Kuzumbo. It's more risky. And the fact that I'm a little worried about the early game might make this a little bit of a bad decision. But if I get the Book of Thoth online, it's a huge amount of damage. I won't run out of mana. It'll scale really well with my build. So we're going to try it. I'm mostly going to try to play it safe in the early. Um, I might even start at my blue buff if she allows me to however if she's starting at her blue buff i could just start at my blue buff have also i have to apologize so last mic video i accidentally put codes from the previous video they actually weren't supposed to be there so to make up for that i will put some codes in this video okay <laughs> some gem codes specifically i think they are pc only but you might be able to get them work on console i've heard that they do work but they're supposed to be PC only, so I'm not entirely sure. But here, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I got these codes from from Nexus, and that's in the description. If you ever want to buy Spike Gems, you can buy them through there, and they support me, and I appreciate that. But yeah, as a little apology of putting the same codes twice, that was a that was a complete accident. When I render out these videos, I use a template, and if I forget to edit the template to remove something that was specific to one video it stays in the video so that's my bad okay okay it's a pretty pretty regular start we're actually ahead right now which is great and i'm actually i actually like this so we're actually not gonna fight it out early on which is good for me because this builds again kind of terrible <laughs> for the first few minutes so we're gonna back get a child's healing Replenish our mana. Now let's go. Okay, she's going to Transcendence build, which makes sense. It's a good build to have. Could try to blink on her right now. She doesn't have beats, but nah. Let's wait for a better opportunity. There will be better opportunities. If, since she doesn't have beats, like, seriously, I could push her into tower really far. What I can also do is push her through the minions. Use my two, use that, and then ult. Get close enough for the auto. There we go, dude. <laughs> that kind of worked out perfectly. Like, as perfect as it could have. Alright, let's recall. Now, when I was queuing for this match, it did have, like, two queues where it was, like, not enough players to find your match or whatever so more t more time is needed to find your match that's what it said and uh so i don't i don't know how close mmr this game is but you know scotty's still a pretty damn good god who's both still a guardian let's see if i can push her to tower a bit body block body block body block let's see if i can push her again slower Oh, that was so good. That was so nice. I didn't get to push her into the tower, but I still pushed her through, I think, one or two minions. And since I put an extra point in my three, that was just, just enough damage to do some, some nice stuff. Uh, I could stay for this red buff. I think that's a little dangerous. Let's just back up. Okay, so we're pretty much going to be going, like, a bunch of mana items. Look at those. Polly. What else can we get? We're going uh, Bumba's Hammer late game. For defense, I could get, since I don't need Breastplate, because I'm going Bumba's Hammer. Um, could go, oh, I don't know, Midguardian. People really like Midguardian. I don't really like it that much. I do kind of like Midguardian when you're ahead, as weird as it is. Because then, whenever you're fighting them, they don't want to hit you at all. Because it'll make their f the fight for them even worse for running away. Like, even if they hit you, like, twice. 
it's gonna make it impossible for them to escape. I don't know, it's weird. When you're a, when you're behind with Midgardian and you're going up against Assassin, it's, it can work sometimes. It just depends on their kit. Nice. I'm just gonna annoy annoy her with the Langer recall. Oh man, I'm so excited for season eight. Or season eight, season nine. <laughs> All I can really think about is what they're gonna change to it. If it's gonna be amazing, if it's gonna be meh. I just wanna know. Okay, I was gonna push her into those three minions. And then when she ulted, it's just like, nah, just reset. I'm at full health. I literally lost nothing off of that. And now we can go on her. Slow her. Oh, that was terrible. Probably should have started off with my three if I pushed her through those minions. She just kind of had a little bit more mobility than I was expected. Let's put more points in my three. Because Scotty does not have an escape, I can push her through the wave like pretty consistently, actually. Uh, like, it gets a lot of gods. You use your three and they just leap away or whatever. Unless you're right next to them. And then they don't let you get right next to them because then they leap away. <laughs> but like this, I can just boom. And then I can alt. And I don't think I can kill her now, but I do have blink. Let's not forget that. So I could bait by recalling. And then... Okay. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. All right. Nice. Oh, that's so awesome. Wait, is red buff up? No, it's not up. Well, I might as well clear this wave now. There's no danger to it because she's not doing up yet. I have 157 power. That's nice. All right, what defense item should we get? Hmm. I do like Tyrannical. It's not that good, though. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't like Witchblade either, but it might be good here. It would give me that 10% cooldown I need. All right. Pretty much whenever she ults like that, like it ults to run away, we just reset. We just reset. I took a little bit more damage there than I would like, but I can still take her in a fight. If she recalls, that's good for me, because then I get red buff. So pretty much no matter what happens here, I'm in a good spot. Unless I miss my abilities. That would be bad. Like that. <laughs> and that would be that would be kind of bad, huh? <laughs> What if I told you guys I did that as a demonstration? A demonstration of what would happen if I missed my ability. And as you can see, it was not good. Oh, I want to pick that up, though. All right, I'm going to use a potion. Give me the red buff. Oh, if I had blink, I could kill her right now. All right, let's just chill for now. If she stays for a super long time, I can fight her again. I need to heal a bit with my life still. Don't have much life still, but I do have a little bit. Uh, I don't think she stayed. We'll just recall. Yeah, I I kind of hate Witchblade, but maybe here, like I can kind of see it working. You need that mobility against Scotty, so you've got the movement speed. You have the ten percent cooldown to bring you to max cooldown with Bumpa's Hammer and Power Potion. Gives you some health, gives you a little bit of protection. I, it doesn't give much protection, so that's what I don't like about it. But I mean, the passive is pretty solid currently. The passive used to suck. And I mean, what, 25% attack speed reduction? It's pretty good. It's like Midgardian with cooldown and movement speed, which is like nice. I don't know. We'll see how I do it. There's a meme on my Twitch channel that I just <laughs> despise Witchblade. It's true, but since that meme started, Witchblade has been buffed several times. I actually haven't been streaming Spike too much, but I actually started a Minecraft server for the Hatmaster community. 
It has been really fun. I actually went up two days ago with the new Caves and Cliffs update. I, I will stand by this. Minecraft is such a good game. Genuinely such a good game. When you just play it with in a chill community server type thing. If anyone's interested in joining, uh, just kind of hang out in the Discord and Twitch until we kind of get to know you. And then I will add you to the whitelist. Really as simple as that. I have some anti-grief stuff in case anything happens, but mostly just adding people I trust for now. That's been working. <laughs> the skin makes a sound every time you go on the ice. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm actually taking a huge amount of damage here, but I am I committed? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not committed. I'm out. Yeah, she she actually could have killed me there. Like 100% if she ulted. Like I could have ulted, but I, I think she would have gotten me. Or if she waited. No, that wouldn't have done anything. Wait. <laughs> I wanted to get behind her so I could ult because my three wasn't ready yet. But hey, free ult. Well, not free ult. Blink for ult. I'll take it. Right, if only my three was up, man. That would have been huge. Especially because she doesn't have beads yet. And now we want to stay for red buff, but I don't have any more potions. Decisions, decisions. Oh, please let me push you through these minion waves. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. Boom, boom, boom. Very cool. Yeah, remember when I said with Book of Thoth we wouldn't have a good early game? I mean, I wasn't lying, but I guess we're we're just chilling. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're just chilling, man. Oh, I should go Book of the Dead. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go book of the dead. Alright. I think that when we start killing now, we'll actually start getting objectives, by the way. With Guardians, it's kind of like whenever you're getting kills early game, you can't really do anything with it. So, you know, you're just, just kind of getting that lead. But we're getting to the point where her spawn timer is getting longer and I can actually get objectives off of it. Damn, dude, I do so much damage. I keep it, but she has protections. Like, it feels like she doesn't, but she does. She has shoguns, which gives 60 protections. And I don't have any penetration. And we're doing this much damage. That's that's just so much. Polly's hitting for, like, 348 damage when I hit it twice. Because I just have so much power with Book of Thoth. I have 471 power. That's why Book of Thoth is better later on. Usually, oh. <laughs> she bought blink. Was not expecting that. I'm actually glad she bought blink because now it's gonna be easier to kill her because she won't have beats 100%. Or just as easy to kill her, I guess I should say. But yeah, Bancroft usually carries you through the early game. Uh, Book Thoth worked out really well here. Uh, you can't always guarantee that. But yeah, I mean. It's going pretty well. I'm, I'm going to go do more, man. I don't think we need penetration. Could go Sunder. I, I have time to think about my Relic. I'm thinking a Sunder could be pretty fun. But a Beads for the Ice might be more important. Or a Thorns or... I don't know, something. Maybe even a Sprint. A Horrific Emblem would actually be... Probably the best. Best item I could go here. Because if she starts getting away and I pop that, she's got no way of, you know, slow immunity. And if she gets Wings Blade, that's a complete waste. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We can also go, with this build, we can also go for Demon King earlier on. Uh, because with Polynomicon, just the amount of damage I have. So, oh, she's actually recalling here. Okay, she's not recalling here. 
<laughs> ah, screw it. I'm gonna go for this. If I if she steals it, her phoenix is so low that I don't think it's a big deal. But if she comes over here, there's a good chance I'll be able to kill her. Okay, that's her ice. Once that ice runs out, we go on her. Because now she has no way out. Keep resetting our cooldowns. And that's without Bumba's hammer, man. And I might as well take this since I'm here. I could just push a minion wave, but... Might as well. It won't take that long. Pushing through the mini wave actually just get me Phoenix straight up. <laughs> oh well. Let's use our two with Polynomicon. Alright, there we go. I mean, it took longer than I thought it would, but. I get Doom Orb. And. Yeah, horrific. Like, I feel like her build is pretty solid. Mannequins, Transcends, Shoguns, Crusher, I don't really build on Hunters too much, but it's kind of the meta. It's what's good. So, I mean, that's a good item. Now she's going Soul Eater. That's the first item that I've got questioning, but up until this point, her build has been pretty solid. And I'll probably get Divine Ruin. Oh, wait, no, I need Bumpus Hammer. Sad. All right, let's go take that Phoenix. We got time. Goodbye, Scotty. I'll see you in the next life. Okay, okay. I'm almost... Oh, we, we should not upgrade uh, Do More but yet, by the way, because I need to save up for Bumpus Hammer. I almost forgot about that. I mean, we could pretty much end. It's not that important, honestly. But Bumpus Hammer is just such a... Kind of broken item on Kuzma, honestly. I can just horrific this. Oh, I should have ulted immediately. Ah, mistakes were made. Now I waste my book of dead. If I ulted immediately, she was dead. And that was game. Gotta have no hesitation. Can't afford Bumba's hammer quite yet. But when I'm level 20, I will be able to. Your middle tower is under attack. Three levels ahead. Yeah, I mean, Soul Eater... I don't think Soul Eater is as bad as people say it is. I, I don't think it's the play here. I think Soul Eater is a nice item to get when you're ahead. I think it's a nice item to get on like a kind of like ability based physical gods but on hunters it's like you've got you've got aussie and a bunch so many other options that are just a million times better so why would you get why would you get that did i not pick up that blue buff i must have had red buff and then it ran out what's my ping at 80 all right that's a very good ping for me All right, I, I'm still missing 10% cooldown, but you guys, as always, my favorite part of Kuzubo videos, once I get this dumb item, <laughs> and just infinite cooldown resets, because you reset the cooldown every two, which resets the cooldown one and three, which resets the cooldown every two, it's infinite. Oh damn, she actually rooted me at like the perfect time. I don't want to reset this fight. Not yet. I don't want to reset the fight. I just want to keep going. <laughs> and that's Bumba's hammer, man. 
It's so crazy to me that they nerfed Bumba's Hammer around the time they came out. And then people weren't buying it, so they're like, okay, we'll just buff it back. <laughs> I thought it was so broken when it first came out. Surprisingly, the true damage only did 240. I thought I hit her with way more Bumbus Hammer shots. I guess I was mostly hitting Titan. And I can't see how much I did to Titan with that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. Appreciate the comments, you know, the support. And, you know, subscribe if you want to. Um, and, yeah, let me know what other gods you want me to play. While we're at the end of Season 8, things are a little bit stale. I'll be a little bit honest. Um, so, I haven't actually... Like, I don't know, With usually when I have a game like that, where it's completely one-sided, I don't like to upload it, because I feel like it's a little unfair to upload that. But then when I go 0-7, I don't like uploading that either. I like getting those even matches, whether I win or lose. I like getting those even ones. But because it's the end of the season, barely anyone's playing duel, and it's really hard to get good matchmaking. So I'm either against a GM or, you know, someone that shouldn't be matched up against me. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm just I'm just trying to upload some games until uh the, you know next season. But hope you guys enjoy it and see you guys next time. Bye.